So for both the sketch driven pattern and the fill pattern, you have to have something else there. Um, and so the sketch pattern, what it does is you're going to make a sketch and you're going to put points and it'll pattern your, whatever you pick, wherever those points are. So if I go here and create a sketch, create a sketch, and I put some points in, and of course I want to constrain these, dimension them, constrain them, whatever. And now if I go to sketch room pattern, it, it, you can't see it, but it picked that sketch automatically. You can see it lists the sketch here. And now it's asking me, I can tell it what features. So if I pick that hole, it's going to put them in. Or if I pick that slot, I'm going to pick that hole off. Now it's going to put that, that rectangle slot, maybe even with that. With the fillet, add each of those. Oop, now that's with the pattern. <laughs> that's weird. That's why I need the whole pattern when I click back. I just do the rectangle. I can put the rectangle in at those spots. And now I control those, where those are just for that sketch. And this is one of the few times when you'll have a sketch left here. But now I'll, I'll label the sketch pattern centers or something like that. So I know that's not just junk. Um, so that's the, the, the sketch pattern. The next one, the, the fill pattern, I want to give it an area to fill. So I'm going to just draw a rectangle in here. I'll just bring that to the edge. Make sure I'll bring that to the edge and then that to be 2.5. I want when I pattern this, I want it to go into that area, kind of centered on the, the one that I already have. So when I go to fill pattern. It asks me for the boundary. The boundary is going to be that line there. And then features the pattern, that. So now I can do the patterns like that. Or I can go here. Now it's concentric circles out from where it was. A linear pattern or another circular pattern. You can see the options change here. So here I just have just the angle. This is the spacing between the, the, the outer edge, outer part, and your boundary. So if you want to keep a certain spacing between your boundary and the outermost thing, you can put that in here. Um, So you kind of see, so for like um, louvers, or not louvers, but um, blanking, you know, um, <laughs> look at the back of the computer, by, by the, the screens, air holes. yeah, the screens and stuff, Bands. Bands. yeah, doing something like that. If you want, you'd have, you'd have to do two regular patterns, right? You'd have to do that one and that one. And pattern, do two patterns. But now we just have one. We just tell like that. And it's one, one command to do it all. So on this thick part, it's not quite the same. But on a thin piece, going to do a grid or something, would be a really easy way. So go ahead and try that. <coughs> 